last minute winner from Kai Havertz keeping Arsenal top of the table. Where are the haters? Uh, any one of you haters yet? <laughs> word, word haters. Okay, be honest. Be honest. Just be completely honest. Uh, I know Vamsi because he's bro. been retired. Haters. Yeah, he's been there. <laughs> I have we have like uh, written receipts of Vamsi uh Abhinav <laughs> came in late so what were your thoughts on Kai Havertz mm-hmm. scoring a winner he no, should no, no, have no, been on, on the pitch but apart from that yeah should oh. it be on oh. <laughs> Kai Havertz <laughs> before shut the yeah. fuck up okay. <laughs> <laughs> no on before because I never had anything on Kai Havertz I'm like I thought it was something which Chelsea was kind of getting you know getting a good deal mm. and initially I I I didn't, I, I didn't know how yeah. Uh, it was gonna, was going to use the uh, hammers to be honest and i think initially you know those claims were true i thought it was going to go bad and it's bad because of this isn't but i mean again i don't follow us in so tactically so but it, the thing has been coming up with all these touch goals right and i think he's playing an all-sign role very well so it's good for him yeah and what boy please uh tell us about how you thought that was a penalty and as you please it's retaliate fun. i'm i'm, yeah, by, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do that, uh, right? habits habits Harbert's wait. Uh, but that was a penalty. Not a penalty. I'm so sorry. Red card. Red card. Red card. Yeah, it's second yellow. Dive. He, he dived. It's second yellow. And then yeah, he should have been sent off. But right. wasn't there like no, wasn't there a hip touch? I mean, I think that's enough for him to go around. It wasn't like a, a Van Bissuma dive where he was like, oh, I, I basically ran into some air, so I felt some pressure and I went down. It wasn't that. He basically had a hip touch. and he he went down mm-hmm. it was a soft one it wasn't a penalty never saying it was a penalty but it was also not a dive but also the fact that the ball was in play for 49 out of 100 minutes and there was a not mm-hmm. even a single yellow card which could have been like double triple yellow cards for all of these brentford players so please thomas frank is the last person i'm going to take that excuse from after that game like you got bat- battered you could see it at the full time handshake where uh Artera literally firstly was like you know really arrogant about it like i love <laughs> that part where he did something like he did a pout and he went went to his team hugged them and then he went to Thomas Frank and he literally didn't even look him in his eyes both of them just mm-hmm. like literally touched their hands and went away in disgust so you could feel you know one up in Thomas Frank and i love Thomas Frank don't get me wrong but uh it was yeah fuck off like you can you can use all your dark arts but when we use it then it's a penalty or it's a red card you can go fuck yourself don't care about it Not to you, but to Brentford. It's it's to Brentford. No, I know, I, I know what you're saying, but <laughs> it's still it's still a dive, though. I think I got the same shit for Jota, man. I think when it was a dive. I mean, come on. I don't think it oh. was a dive. I think it's a. I think I mean, it, yeah, you I had the faintest of your hip touches. Yes, I get that. So, I mean, and that's enough there. for you to go down. That's enough for you to go down. I mean, but that wasn't called... enough for Jota to go down. But yeah, but okay, no, no, okay like, go ahead. We all, we all, mm-hmm. you remember, we all called uh, Rashford's foul to be a foul because. uh there's enough pressure for him to go down but it wasn't given mm-hmm. right and there was an upro i don't think i i didn't see it that way that it was enough pressure i felt that these incidents happened and if that happened there are, there were like four incident three incidents actually that i can remember from set pieces where we were held back like one was with trossard one was with gabriel uh none yeah, of them the were given one was a penalty i i, yeah. I agree so, with you there that mm-hmm. so i think i i just feel like it was uh yeah that was a just a stick to beat us with just because we won uh doesn't have any ground so we can quickly move on yeah it was a yeah. subjective decision not like a <laughs> objectively should have been given of course like the second yeah, no. so but uh like categorically i can say uh, on the point that like i have it has turned out to be above uh, like at least for now a success for 16 million of the like, season straight up like, no 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 <laughs> relax calm down he still has so few reasons for that being being very being very unbiased few reasons for that he's already equaled his tally at chelsea for like goals and assists uh, his best season um secondly like he's plugged in wherever possible he's played a lot of different positions uh, for arsenal and now we're truly realizing that he's not the jaka replacement but he's just like a he's just a, like a like an extra like tool that arteta can use a quality tool jaka's replacement is actually legendized who i think is the signing of the season i i know van dijk is there this is going to be a very tough fight i feel like whoever is going to win the title is going to take that prize as well yeah. but like the rice from c has been you know how much i like simped for this guy like Dude, i'm watching him arteta play is, yeah mm. arteta has taken him above like a level he's put him at 8 he's put Jorginho behind to like you know cover up for Declan Rice and he's just turning out to be like an amazing 
uh, you know, header of the ball. His shot, he hit the post. What kind of a shot was that? Um, <laughs> so he's tra- he's kind of being the be- like the perfect uh, sort of like box to box midfielder for us. But, Also, like West Ham, yeah. uh, perhaps like were the the Declan Rice was like six, eight, everything there. Like he had yeah. to stay back. Right. Uh, Mo is is like a defensive manager. He was making sure that he uses his defensive attribute. Arteta is doing exactly the opposite. He's using offensive attributes of Declan Rice, which we're just seeing now, and it's 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 really good. Um, and with with AJ, I want to talk a little bit about Jorginho, um, oh, yeah. and like what kind of a buyer that has been. Uh, initially, like came with a little bit of criticism, but he's been so good at six. Like, yeah, thoughts on I think him? He's, I think he is. Uh, I mean, he's proving doubt is wrong in terms of like him being third in the Ballon d'Or. And I was, trust me, I was, I laughed it off. Like he was the third place, third best player in the world that season. I was like, this is hilarious. But uh, but like he's proving his worth. He's probably the. Second best, or the, or at least right now, I'd put him above Kai Havertz. The best piece of business that we've had from Chelsea after mm. all the cons or or con artists we've had from them, double agents with William Sheck and I don't know who else. Like, uh, was the William Gallas? All of these idiots who came and played for Arsenal after Chelsea. I think uh, these two have really, uh, you know, enhanced my faith in Arteta more than any, anybody else. Right? Mm. Like, just imagine how big it is for. A new manager to get in these players who are highly criticized in terms of their fees or just their age profile. Or Savior complex. From, yeah, where they are coming from. I just hope from. it ends now. I hope it yeah. ends now. You know, you can't end. like I mean, save everyone. Yeah, yeah, it has to end. And like, <laughs> imagine, imagine he's if, like, okay, Balotelli, come back, bro. I yeah. believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It, enough. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is such a big thing. Like. It it makes Arsenal as such a great proposition for any player out there. Uh, when like okay, yeah, if if you are a good player and if Arteta thinks you are a good player, then he will get the best out of you. So if Arteta comes calling, you would definitely take that call. Mm. It's not like you know you'd be like yeah, why would mm. I want to go there? So things like that. I feel like yeah, he's done a great job with the team. And you you know this goes to show that we are actually really happy as Arsenal fans, really happy with Arteta's talent ID. I've just seen this from Liverpool fans being happy with Klopp. Whoever he buys, and they're just like, you know, he's going to be good. We have full trust in him. Yeah. Pep Guardiola, whoever he buys, although Pep has had a lot of stinkers too, but whoever he buys, we're happy with him. Uh, same thing with Arsenal. That's why I truly believe that Caicedo and and Mudrik are just suffering because of Chelsea, and yeah. they actually are decent players because we were going to get them. 